What is up guys? Today we're going to go over five dividend stocks for you to buy right now and hold forever. These five companies, you, I will bet money that you have heard of all five companies. These are great companies to hold on to and you will continue to see that growth for many years to come. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button to help my YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already. I know about 69% of you who are watching this haven't subscribed yet. Hit that subscribe button. Now before we go over the five companies, we just need to review really quick exactly what I am looking for and what other people typically look for in dividend growth stocks. Now I have another video that goes into detail of the ins and outs of why I look into this stuff. You can check that video out. But if you already know, let's just review really quick. The first thing that I look at, there's three total. The first thing is dividend yield. You want a dividend yield typically between four and 6%. If you were to Google that, that's usually the answers that come up. Because I'm young, I'm in my 20s, as long as it's below 6%, then I like it. I even have some stocks that have a dividend yield of 1%. I'm fine with that because I know in the next couple of decades, it will grow to that sweet spot, that four to 6%. The next thing that I look at, and I think this is one of the most important things, is payout ratio. Now, the typical payout ratio of what dividend investors like is between 30 and 70%. Again, because I'm younger, I'm okay with even lower than 30%. I could go for the 20s. And why dividend payout ratio is important is because a, when a company makes money, it has two options. Those two options are either pay their investors or reinvest that money back into the company. Because I'm in my 20s, any companies I'm invested in, I'd like for them to take as much as their earnings as possible and put it back into the company so the company can continue to grow as I age. Okay, and the last one that I look for that ties it all together and was going to promote that growth for both the dividend yield and the payout ratio is the dividend growth rate. So pretty much what I like to see and what I think everyone should look for is between 4% and 10%. The reason why you want it above 4% is because you want it to outpace inflation. If you buy into a stock that has a dividend growth rate of 1% or 2%, it's not beating inflation, so it's really not doing you any good, and you're going to be relying mainly on the appreciation of the stock rather than that dividend being paid out to you. So again, 4 to 10% if the stock has a very low dividend yield or a very low payout ratio. You can even look for companies that have a higher growth rate. I'm talking about higher than 10%, maybe even in their 20s. You'll see what I mean. One of the stocks we'll be looking at is like that, and then I'll go over that. Let's jump over to the computer to Seeking Alpha, and as you can see, the first company on my list of the top five is Apple. Apple has a low dividend yield, 1%. Again, I'm okay with that. Its payout ratio is 26%. That's almost that 30% we're looking for. The reason why I'm okay with it being this low, look at its growth rate. Its growth rate is over 10%. That means if we go to dividend growth, you can see that since 2012, it has been having a very nice steady growth. So as long as it keeps up, which I'm pretty sure Apple will, if we go back to the dividend scorecard, our dividend yield and our dividend payout ratio should follow. And it will eventually hit that nice sweet spot maybe when I'm 40, 50 years old. Now, jumping over to stock number two, we have Target. Again, Target's dividend yield is pretty low. It's in that 2.25%. Its payout ratio is 53%, so that's good. 
and then its growth rate is 6.47%. So this is more of a conservative bet. Um, the one thing that I really like about Target, its dividend growth has been growing for 52 years. This stock is recession proof. We could see back in the dot com bubble, it didn't skip a beat. 2008 didn't go down at all. 2012, we had some turbulence, nothing happened there. And it's just, it's continuing to grow. And now that we're in the coronavirus and it is 2020, Target's doing fine. Target took the right measures real early on and people can still go to Target, still shop. It is known as an essential business. And that just proves that, in my opinion, it's recession proof. So even though that yield is on the smaller uh, end of the scale, this 6.47% will help us maybe 10 to 20 years down the road. This will be right where you want to see it. I think Target is a leader in the industry. So again, great dividend stock to own. Next up we have on the list, and this was the example that I'm telling you about, where its dividend yield is super low, but that growth rate is insane, so it balances out, is Visa. Dividend yield of less than 1%. Its payout ratio is also super small, 23%. But that growth rate is 20%. That is absolutely insane. And as you can see, since 2009, in 2009, they were paying you 10 cents. Fast forward to 10 years, that is now gone up by a thousand percent. They're now paying a dollar and five cents. So yeah, I think this company is great. It has been having a great track record of growth. Everything's going on to credit and debit cards. I have, I think, five Visa uh, cards, whether it be debit or credit. This company is going to be a staple. I think it already is a staple. It's a household name. Everyone knows what Visa is. Great dividend growth company, especially for the younger people. If you're around my age or if you're in your 30s, there's no reason you shouldn't have Visa. The next one is probably everyone's favorite example when it comes to good stocks or good dividend growth stocks, and that's because it is a great stock to own. Johnson & Johnson. You have a dividend yield of 2.8%, still on a little bit of lower side, that's okay. Its payout ratio is only 52%, that's good, and has a nice steady growth rate of 6.32%. And look at this, it's dividend growth over the past 57 years, that's even better than Target. Let's take a look at the dividend growth really quick. Look at this, this is massive, this steady growth Nothing is stopping Johnson & Johnson. You want a nice, stable company to invest in that will pay out nice dividends and continue to appreciate? It is Johnson & Johnson. You will find so many videos on this company. It is a great company to own. All right, and dividend stock number five is Intel Corporation. For every computer that you have, you you're probably have an Intel chip, whether it be the i5 or i7, they're now coming out with the i9. This company is going to be around for my entire lifetime. It's given out dividends of 2.12%. Its payout ratio is 27%. I know that's a little bit below 30, but that's okay. And then its growth rate is 6.96%. It's been growing for the past six years. So if we jump over to dividend growth, you can see it really started to kick off back in 2005, and now its dividend is growing. So again, I think there's another great company to invest in and hold on forever, along with the other four companies that I showed. So review, that was Apple, Target, Visa, Johnson & Johnson, and Intel. These are five great dividend companies to hold on to, especially if you're in your 20s or 30s. These will continue to be great companies to hold on to for the next 10, 20, 30, even 40 years. They will continue to grow with you 
and make you more money. Again, I just gotta throw it in there. Not a financial advisor, this isn't financial advice. This is my opinion on the five dividend stocks that I invest in that I think are great companies to own. If you wanna take that information and you want to invest in those companies as well, by all means, but let me know what you think. What do you think are the best dividend companies to own? Write that down in the comments. If you can, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. You can check out my other videos as well. It has great content to teach you all about the stock market. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one.